SEC has now responded to News 18 query on tax rates. It has said that it is fully cooperating with Indian tax authorities' inquiries and will continue to do so. The process is ongoing and will take time to conclude. The BBC, of course, takes its tax obligations very, very seriously. And this is in response to the tax question that was asked about whether BBC is evading tax in India. The statement that is coming in from the BBC is that it is cooperating with the tax authorities in India and will be continuing to do so. And the process is ongoing and will take time to conclude and that uh, it takes its tax obligations very seriously. Sanjay Suri is the one who wrote that email to BBC seeking a clarification. Sanjay, go, has, go ahead, give us the details. Well, it is uh, significant, although on the face of it, it might appear unfair to ever say so, but it really is significant what the BBC is not saying. The BBC is not denying uh, these allegations. It is a very uh, woolly statement. It is a statement of principle, not a statement that affects, uh, that says anything at all about the specifics of the allegations about the Indian inquiries. It simply says that it is cooperating. That itself implies that there is a matter underway, that there is an investigation where it is a party. It has been asked to make a statement and present its views and that it is doing so. And that investigation is ongoing. That is clearly acknowledged. Then the grant statement, of course, we have that the BBC takes its obligations seriously. Now, that is a general statement of mm. principle. It doesn't address the particulars. And clearly, the BBC is not denying that there is an issue that it has been asked to explain. Okay. It acknowledges, in fact, that it is doing so. Okay. Okay, let me bring in Ashish Merishi as well. Ashish, give us some details of this ongoing case. So, I spoke to some senior officials in the income tax department, especially the Central Board of Direct Taxes, and I've been told by my sources is that they have received a letter of intent from BBC. Now, letter of intent, uh, if you look at the statute or if you look at le it legally, stands nowhere. So if, you say, if, if BBC is basically saying that, yes, uh, you know, we have accepted that there is some sort of, uh, you know, hanky-panky uh, uh, in the laws, uh, in the in the in the tax that they have submitted till now, they are open to the idea of submitting more tax in case the calculations have gone wrong. Mm. So here, my information is that uh, you know notices uh, under various sections of the income tax department have been issued to BBC. Their accounts uh, or their income tax returns are being reassessed. Uh, my understanding is the process is that they will have to file the you know they have to refile the income tax returns. Uh, I specifically asked that official on how many years are they looking at. So they, they, they were not able to disclose that. But they said that at least two, three years of, uh, of the past are being assessed. Uh, but legally speaking, up to five to six years of, of tax uh, uh, you know, filing can be assessed by the income tax department. That is what legally it, it is. Hmm. But ultimately, uh, what my understanding is that income tax department has received a letter of intent which says that, you know, the, income, uh, the BBC is realizing that there is something wrong in the filing of taxes that they have done. Uh, reassessment is being done and the, the income tax department is shortly going to receive, uh, you, know, the, the, uh, you know, the more tax that is applicable on BBC. Uh, BBC is going to refile the entire tax assessment. That is what my sources in the income tax department tell me. Okay. The assessment process is on as of now. Okay. And, and there were reports that had come in earlier that it, the BBC had uh, reportedly accepted that it may have paid lower taxes than its liability. What really is the truth there? So here that is what I'm telling, that the letter of intent basically says that, yes, we have paid, we have paid less tax as compared to what... It should be what the figure should be. So after the survey was done, the reassessment notices were issued. And after the reassessment notices were issued by the income tax department, the BBC realized that, yes, they have, fa they have failed to pay the real amount or uh, they have not been able, you know, their, their calculations would have been wrong. And that is why uh, reassessment notices were issued. And ultimately, the BBC seems to be accepting that. But what my sources in the income tax department tell me that legally the letter of intent stands nowhere. 
So they are moving cautiously. It's a sensitive issue. We all know that this survey was immediately done after, uh, you know, a, uh, you know, after a, a documentary on the Gujarat riots relating to the, the, the current prime minister was aired by BBC. Hmm. And subsequently after that, the, you know, the survey was done. But that is why the BBC, you know, the income tax department is moving very, very cautiously. Uh, they're not revealing too many things, but they say that what all we can expect is that there is a reassessment that is being done okay. and, the income, and the income tax department okay. could shortly receive a, uh, you know, a, a new or a okay. fresh income tax return okay. by okay. BBC. Sanjay, Sanjay, a quick word from you before we slip into a short break. Uh, the BBC is cooperating fully with the Indian tax authorities is what BBC spokesperson is saying. They're also saying that we do not provide a running commentary on tax matters publicly for any jurisdiction. So this is uh, couching this whole uh, matter uh, very politely. Hmm. Clearly, people don't pay less tax because they accidentally happen to do so. These are decisions people make. They make calculations. They make calculations not unmindfully. And if the BBC has paid lower tax, and if that is what is indicated in their letter of intent, then that is the kind of thing that if you and I do would be taken very seriously and we would be asked all sorts of questions and quite fairly face accusations. The BBC is putting it in very polite language that they are reassessing and they are uh, going to take their responsibility very seriously, that they are cooperating. But beneath this, there is a clear acknowledgement that it did something that is not quite right. Yes. And everyone was in a rush to start accusing uh, people uh, and the Indian authorities of uh, attacking freedom of the media following okay. that documentary. We now see that there is a real issue here. Okay. Thank you so much, Sanjay and Ashish.